Welcome back to the fish room. Just wanted to show you my new setup for my front toes. I love these guys. They're awesome. I put a little short on here before these guys kind of remind me of the punk rock fish here of the freshwater world. I think they're pretty awesome. This is a 55 gallon aquarium. I have had them with a school of rainbows and a 40 gallon breeder for the last several months. And I wanted to give them a little more room to swim around. Hopefully they'll eat a little better and grow a little better in here. They're notorious for being slow growers anyway, so I kind of expected that. I've had these guys for six or eight months now, I suppose. When I got them, they were maybe an inch and a half, so... You know, the larger ones there have doubled their size for sure, I guess. See if I can zoom in here without getting my fingers in the way. So I have regular front toeses, which are blue with the black stripes, and I also have these guys here, which are burgundy and blue. I believe <clears throat> both of these two that you see here, I think they're both males, if I'm not mistaken. This one here, I believe, is a female. She's not showing much of a hump on the top of her forehead there. I believe this one potentially is another male. Uh, I think these two are definitely males. You can see how their forehead up above their eyes is definitely more prominent with these guys and they get much much larger than the females they can get 12 14 16 inches uh, depending on how long you have them and how big their habitat is I suppose and how much you feed them but I think most of them get somewhere in the maybe 10 to 12 inch range uh, about the same as flower horns I do have a female flower horn that is about to get moved over into her new breeding tank and I have a friend that is bringing over a male and we're gonna try to put them together and, and breed them so I will do a little video on that and chronicle that hopefully we have some success with those flower horns are awesome I love them and these front toes are some of my favorite. I have lots and lots and lots and lots of cichlids. Most of them are African cichlids. I do have a few um, South American and a few American cichlids mixed in. Um, I will show them eventually one by one. I also just set up a... Well, I'm in the process. I'm going to spin it over here. I am in the process of putting together the new 125. There's my main 125 cichlid tank. I also have a 180 right next to me. So let me know what we should do with this. I have considered making it a great big beautiful planted tank. I have also considered making it a grow out tank for all my baby cichlids because at this point I probably have 125 babies uh, that need to grow out. They're all in individual little, well, each different brood is in its own little tank right now, its own little 10 or 15. I need to move them. I, I moved them out in stages, so I think I have probably 75 that are ready to go into a 40-gallon breeder or larger. Uh, so I very well could just turn this into <clears throat> a grow-out tank for them, for lack of a better idea. If you guys would like to see it turn into anything else, you are more than welcome to let me know in the comments. Uh, and if a lot of you say the same things, then maybe we'll go that way. I have lots of cichlids. I love my cichlids, but I also love my planted tanks. Uh, I have 
I have plants in every tank that the fish won't eat them in. So anything I can stick them in, I have uh, all of your regular uh, aquarium plants. I also have uh, bog plant or marsh plants, marginal plants in my saltwater aquarium. I have moss in almost every aquarium that, uh, most definitely every aquarium with babies in it. I have a 55 gallon beautiful planted aquarium in my living room in the house. I love the plants. I, I have plants all over the place. I have house plants that grow out of the top of them. I have the inch plants or the wandering Jew plants that grow from the top of the tank in the house. I have pothos growing out of the tank in the house. I have pothos growing out of some of the tanks here. I have monstera growing out of the top. I have water lilies growing out of the top of some. Um, I just, I, I love the plants. They're a great way of helping to take care of some of the extra bio load that the fish create. They suck the nitrates out of the water. Oh my goodness, I don't know what happened there. Sorry guys. Um, they take care of some of the extra nitrates. They take care of the extra ammonia. They feed off of that stuff. Um, there's just so many different kinds of plants that you can put in. You see in here, since these guys are known to, to dig and peck at stuff, I have the fake plants in here, but that's only because uh, there's no real plants that will survive. Uh, unfortunately, maybe some Anubius or something like that tied down to a rock might survive because they're kind of thicker and they don't tend to eat those as much, but uh, something tells me these guys right here will pretty much eat anything that will come apart so we're going to refrain from that <clears throat> at any rate give me a comment or two in the uh in below the video here and let me know what you'd like to see happen with the 125 and i will update you with some more baby cichlids and some other fish we have here in the room a little later on so i hope you guys have a great day see ya